Now, I know you don't know this information, but it really makes sense. If you're an alcoholic or you have an alcoholic in your family, one of the things that you really need to key on as someone who drinks you know, frequently is you have to recognize your emotional quotient, your EQ. You know, how, what level of emotional uh, maturity are you? I mean, if you're 38, 48, or 58, and you have the emotional maturity of a 12-year-old, you're going to have trouble, uh, you know, getting through the process of sustainable sobriety. There's no question, because you, you, you're not going to be able to realize uh, and be aware of how you're affecting the people in your life and how it's affected your life. Because the bottom line here is if you don't have the ability for your internal conversation to tell you right from wrong, uh, and you continue to do the same habits over and over again, you hang out with the wrong people, you go to the bar instead of going to the gym, uh, you know you're not doing things you're supposed to do. You drink in isolation, you over drink, uh, you know, on and on. If you're aware of that, uh, then you will be, you know, you have a better chance. If you're not aware of that, or if you just continue to do the same things over and over again, you're not growing as a human being. Uh, your emotional maturity is at a very low level, and you have to be aware of that as well. Because you have to realize if your internal conversation is nothing but you, it's always about you, what you're doing, what you have to go through, uh, you know, what choices you're making, uh, and you don't think about other people and how that affects them, how your actions affect them. Well, you, your emotional maturity is, you know, that of a pubescent, basically, uh, because it's very important to understand your effect on other people. And if you're making bad habits, you know, if you come home from work every day and you're drinking, you've got three kids and a wife, you know, it's time to grow up, you know? You need to do, make other activities, do other activities rather than drinking and be aware of that. Uh, and if you can't do that, you need to have the maturity to get help. You need to, you know, go to a detox rehab. You need to go to group therapy and you need to stick with it because it's not just about you. It's also about the people in your life. And I can't believe how many times a day I have to do the same thing over and over on my thread. You know, sorry for your loss, sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for your loss. I mean, all day long, people made the wrong decisions because they didn't have emotional intelligence. Uh, that, you know, the drug sucked them into the web of alcoholism uh, and they didn't have the emotional maturity to get out of that. Uh, the addiction took over, you know, their own, their own internal thought mechanism. Uh, and it's very important to grow up before it's too late. Because for so many, so many people, it's too late. Uh, and if you have the ability to recognize that you're talking to yourself and it's always about you, well, maybe you ought to change that. And I also get comments every day about some, you know, family member who's just completely belligerent, uh, in denial. They won't do anything, and yet they're wreaking havoc in their life and in the life of everybody else. They won't get help. They won't even admit that they have a problem, and they're drunk on the floor every night. You know, the real problem is they don't. They're, they're just not. They're, they're, uh, there's an immaturity issue here, <laughs> and if you can't. Uh, get out of your own self-centeredness and your own narcissism. Uh, you're you're going to you know have a difficult road, uh, and it's not going to end well. So again, if this you know resonates with you, if you have a family member, you've, or if you recognize this in yourself, you know click on the link above, schedule a breakthrough call. I've helped thousands of alcoholics. Just as importantly, I've helped their families. And again, please like, share, and comment. We also have a Facebook group called Amanda, a cautionary tale. You know, please join us uh, in the conversation that we do every day. And again, thanks for listening.